Welcome to the Santa Pearls Stock Market Commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart for October 2nd, 2016. Market breadth. With this past week's market advance, our bull bear point and figure ratio fell to 1.36 from 1.54 last week declining within bullish territory. The total count of securities in bullish or bearish patterns increased 2% to 3,069. The count of bearish stocks increased 10%, while the count of stocks in bullish patterns decreased 3%. The Santu Pearls PNF Market Breadth Summary Chart shows us a market now 14 consecutive weeks in bullish territory. Paid subscribers have access to the open office calc data from which the chart is generated. You may become a paid subscriber by visiting s2pmarketsignal.com, clicking membership, clicking register, and following the prompts. To subscribe to the weekly Santa Pearls stock market commentary via email free of charge, simply enter your email address in the space provided and click subscribe. The well-known market breadth indicator, the Nasdaq McClellan Summation Index, fell 32 points for the eighth decline in nine weeks. At a positive 381.12 points, it continues below the August 2016 top, the April 2016 top, and continues above all remaining three tops above plus 100, and it continues above all six bottoms below minus 100 in the last three years. Volume Analysis In this week's volume analysis, the NASDAQ Composite Index ended in accumulation mode, with average daily volume higher than the prior week. In the last two weeks, the NASDAQ had four accumulation days, and one distribution day. Accumulation days are counted when the index closes up on higher volume than the prior market day, while distribution days occur when the index closes down on volume higher than the prior market day. Last week, the NASDAQ ended in neither accumulation nor distribution mode on lower average daily volume. Momentum, now at a positive 89.22, from a positive 146.16 a week ago, forming a valid Woody's CCI zero line reject long entry pattern at Tuesday 927 close, the CCI 20 daily continued above the pivot point for the remainder of the week, continuing the trade. We will continue to follow the results of this trade simulation in next week's commentary. In Woody's CCI trading system, six consecutive bars above or below zero are required for a change of trend. The weekly CCI 20 of the NASDAQ Composite Index began a Woody's uptrend 22 weeks ago, while the daily CCI 20 began a Woody's uptrend 11 weeks ago. The CCI 20 weekly has fallen to a positive 95.07 from a positive 101.62 last week, continuing outside the plus or minus 50 range for a new zero line reject long entry signal. Industry rotation, the last two weeks. All of the top five industries are positive and only two of the bottom five are negative. Summary, oil, oil services, and some tech on top. Banks, brokers, and some tech on the bottom. Bullish, computer hardware, and semis continue in the top five. Bearish, KBW Bank continues in the bottom five. Brokers and comp tech have entered the bottom five. Oil and oil services has left the bottom five and entered the top five. REITs has left the top five. Focus this week from www.economicprism.com, Mass Money Debauchery, by M.N. Gordon.
The following are some key points. Perhaps one of the most rewarding of all is bearing witness to the final days before the greatest economic crack-up the world's ever known. Not since Nero clipped coins in 64 AD and fiddled as Rome burned has there been such an intolerable collection of dingleberries in imperial office. John Maynard Keynes, the godfather of modern-day economic planning, in his 1919 work, The Economic Consequences of the Peace, wrote, quote, There is no subtler, no surer means of overturning the existing basis of society than to debauch the currency, end quote. Here we are, nearly 100 years later, and the currency has been near fully debauched. What's more, the basis of society has been completely overturned. Gopping at the presidential debate earlier this week made this all too apparent. To Trump's credit, however, he did point the spotlight on the economy and the Fed. Specifically, he made a sincere attempt to bring the Fed's destructive feedback loops to the people's attention. Quote, Now look, we have the worst revival of an economy since the Great Depression. And believe me, we're in a bubble right now. And the only thing that looks good is the stock market. But if you raise interest rates even a little bit, that's going to come crashing down. Continuing the quote, we are in a big, fat, ugly bubble. And we better be awfully careful. And we have a Fed that's doing political things. This Janet Yellen of the Fed, the Fed is doing political by keeping the interest rates at this level. And believe me, the day Obama goes off and he leaves and goes out to the golf course for the rest of his life to play golf, when they raise interest rates, you're going to see some very bad things happen because the Fed is not doing their job. The Fed is being more political than Secretary Clinton." End quote. Unfortunately, what Trump's talking about, specifically debauching the currency, is largely not understood. Because, as Keynes elaborated, quote, the process engages all the hidden forces of economic law on the side of destruction and does it in a manner which not one man in a million is able to diagnose." End quote. Cheap credit, courtesy of the Fed, has pushed financial markets far beyond what the real economy can sustain. As Trump said, quote, when they raise interest rates, you're going to see some very bad things happen. End quote. The Swiss National Bank and the Bank of Japan already borrow money into existence and buy stocks as a matter of monetary policy. The European Central Bank may consider this too. And on Thursday, Fed Chair Janet Yellen said there could be benefits to allowing the Central Bank to buy stocks as a way to boost the economy in a downturn. If this isn't absolute madness, we don't know what is. Thanks for watching this week's Sandu Pearl's stock market commentary video featuring the proprietary bull bear point and figure market breadth summary chart compiled by Donald Pearl, www.s2pmarketsignal.com. Hoping that you are enjoying a peaceful and pleasant weekend, that you are looking forward to a prosperous and productive week coming up, that if you are a praying person, you are praying for the U.S. of A. And wishing you true success.